I'm Allie Buckman with the Potomac Bead Company, and I just wanted to show you today a really cute idea for the Storm Duo beads, which is our new two-hole bead, and it sits in that S shape. This is a design that is very simply strung, doing a circular peyote with the two-hole beads that you're going to be learning. And this is a design that came from Hortense Thompson, just showing how to build that circular peyote with them that is 12 deep. I made them selfishly in colors to match one of my newer designs that some of you may have seen which was the coral branch pendant that's a necklace design that sits on a piece of leather there so I'm using the crystal lab seed bead or the crystal lab storm duos and then also the coral rounds that I had left over along with some 15 OC beads if you need any of the materials to do these pinwheel earrings you can go below the video to the date stamp which will give you links to purchase from us at potomacbeads.com and potomacbeads.eu to get started, it is very, very simple. Like I said, it is a peyote style, learning how to do peyote with two whole beads. So for each earring, or if you wanna make it a simple pendant, it is about the size of um, a gold dollar, maybe a little bit smaller than that. You can see it in my palm here. And you're gonna need 24 storm duos for each earring and 12 of your 12 of your three millimeter beads. I'm using the three millimeter in the coral color, and then I have some 15 O's. I have a little bit of thread on a needle, and I'm not worrying about too much thread because this requires very little. I have a size 12 needle, and I'm gonna pick up to begin going through the small side or the curved side of the Storm Duo. I'm gonna pick up 12 that are all facing in that same direction, and I'm just holding on to the end of my thread. So I'm gonna pick up my 12, making sure again that you're picking them all up in the same direction. If you happen to pick one up in the different direction, you'll notice as you put it on, you'll also notice it in your design. So you wanna make sure to have them all facing the same way. This is much the same start too as the zipper bracelet, which also is another YouTube video that's available to watch. So I have on there five, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So I have 12 of my Storm Duos on, all facing in the same direction. I'm gonna let them drop down to the bottom of my thread. I'm gonna tie a simple knot. This is gonna bring this project into the round. Giving a nice tight knot there. I'm gonna take the thread that's in my hand with the needle and step up. So for doing this peyote with the two holes, we're easily gonna step up from that bottom hole to the top hole of the same Storm Duo that your thread is coming out of. This exposes a very little amount of thread on the side there of the Storm Duo, but you won't see it as we go. Now what we're gonna do is pick up the Storm Duo beads in the opposite direction. So we picked them up that we had them all facing with the small side going first. Now we're gonna pick them up with the big side first. So what I mean by that is that we're going into the exterior of the curve, not the interior. You're gonna pick up a new Storm Duo and then sew through the second hole of the Storm Duo from the first row. Again, picking up through the back side or the larger side of the Storm Duo, then sew through. So this is circular peyote, not tubular, circular peyote with two hold beads. You're adding a bead and sewing through the second hole of the row before it. This is again going to add onto it 12 more beads, which are going to start separating and being further apart. As you're doing this, you'll notice that if you were to add another row, there's gonna be more space and they're not going to want to sit. So if you would wanna make it bigger and make a pendant to go along with these earrings, you will need a seed bead on either side if you're adding a third row of your Storm Duos. As I go around and just pick up the bead, put them on here, making sure that I'm going through the correct way and sewing through the next bead. So this is quite simple. You just wanna make sure as you're going that you don't see any thread exposed on the outside of the beads. Sometimes with the two whole beads, the thread kind of wraps around them a little bit. So you just wanna make sure that that's not the case because you don't wanna be sad when you're finished that you have thread exposed. 
as you finish up going around and adding in the final bead, what you're gonna do is go through that first bead that your thread was coming out of for the beginning row. We're also going to go through the first bead from the second row. When I go through the first bead from the second row, it's going to allow me to do the same thing that I did in row number one, which is going to be stepping up from the bottom hole of that bead to the outer hole of that bead. So that's our step up in our circular peyote. That reverses the thread and has us going the opposite direction. So you can see that fun pinwheel design. And now very simple again, 15 0 3 0 And if you don't want to use the three millimeter beads, you can use uh, seed beads in place using an 8 0 You can even use a 6 0 You just want to make sure that your spacing is good, that it's not going to cause this to curl at all. Since you are wearing it as an earring, potentially you want it to hang correctly. If you do start to get um, too little or too much spacing between the storm duos, that's when you're gonna have a curling effect and it's not going to sit correctly. So I'm gonna go around here and add in my 12 beads. So I'm adding my 12 coral beads and they just have a 15-0 on either side. Because my coral branch pendant had the gold and the silver, that's why I decided to do this two-toned and have the Crystal Lab Storm Duo along with the gold beads on the outer edge. If you do want to have some more beads in the middle, you can sew back through the middle. This is just a base design or an ideas design. I like to see what you guys come up with and what you make out of these simple, simple ideas and techniques. A lot of the videos that I'm gonna teach are gonna show the different techniques, and hopefully from there you expand it and start making what you want and what you desire, which may be a little bit different than what I have. So going around here, I was just gonna show you in one clip how easy this is. Adding on and continuing. to add my coral beads. So I have a couple more coral beads here to put on. Going around the circle. And then from here, I'll show you taking that bead, how I'm going to make a little loop at the top of that pinwheel pendant in order to put my ear wires on. Couple more to go on, three more of my gemstone beads. In her example, Hortense used um, some Czech glass beads. You could also use some crystal beads if you wanna add a little pizzazz to them and a little bit of bling and shine. So coming around here, I'm getting ready to add the last of my beads here. I'll show you real world situations. So here in the beads, we're going through this 15-0 here, that second one in line does not wanna go through the end of the needle. Sometimes with their coatings or the coral beads won't want to fit on. In that case, because they have a small hole, just pass it off and grab another. As I come around and finish up, Adding in my coral beads. I'm gonna go back through that first storm duo that was my thread was coming out of, through the 15 0 and through the coral bead if it'll let me. You never wanna force your way through a bead. Um, you can use a size 12 needle and that'll help you so you don't have that chance of having the actual beads get stuck. That'll help a little bit because it's a thinner needle. As I'm going around here on my bead mat, I'm just collecting some of my seed beads here. So I have six seed beads that I'm going to put on my needle. And then coming out of the coral bead, I'm gonna circle around back through that same coral bead here. And as I circle around the coral bead, those seed beads then will sit right along the top of that coral bead.
and there we go. Now that first thread that I have, remember I tied a knot. So to begin finishing off that first thread, grab your threads up or your thread burner, burn it down short, and then burn it down flush against your project. From here, this one at the top, I'm gonna sew through that next 15 out. The next storm duo, come out, sew underneath the bridge thread or the thread that connects the two beads. Take my thread, my needle through the loop that I make once and twice. You can also go further into the project and sew it in, that's kind of up to you. From there then, I'll go in with my burner. Same deal, burn down the edge of that thread and then burn it flush against the project. Move it around a little bit and that thread will kind of disappear next to the silver bead. From here I have my earrings that were the nice kind of adaptation of just this simple circular peyote using the Storm Duo beads. And then I can grab my ear wires here, open them up with my pliers. These would also look really good on posts. Add into that loop that I've created and close up. You could also use wire guards at the top here where I did the 15 O's. They would make a nice finished look as well. That's kind of the easy peasy earrings. You can see I did the whole thing in just a couple minutes and even off screen could do it quicker. And once you're done and it's all finished then, you have your nice pair of your pinwheel earrings to wear along if you get a chance to make the fun coral branch pendant. So I like to make sets that look nice, that look like one another, but don't necessarily match exactly. So these are a good kind of two videos to link together to show you the variety that you can do with all the different materials that we have at Potomac Beads. Again, if you need any of the materials to check out and do these pinwheel earrings by Hortense Thompson, you can go to the bottom of the video to that date stamp to the links there. You can also check us out on social media, follow us, give us a little thumbs up here on the video, as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel so you get regular updates on simple projects, new beads, new ideas, and new designs as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and have fun getting a chance to play with our newest Storm Duo bead.